Sitting on with Kenny, out on with Kenny D. Uh -huh. And I know you're gonna like it on your color TV screen. You're watching at home with Kenny Yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm getting all straightened up here, because you know I'm going to get slouched and make myself at home. Hey, y'all make yourself at home. My name's Kenny Dean. Welcome to the show tonight. It's a cold night, but y'all come on in. We hope we can warm you up. I, uh, I'm going to start off here with Mr. Uh, Billy Coleman, and let me tell you something. This guy had been around for a while, uh, Alexander City. Coleman, Sylacauga. He's just uh, he's just a rambling man, is what he is. <laughs> Billy, thank you so much. Man, first, thanks, Kenny. First time I've ever met you. I, yes, yeah. yes, sir, it is. I don't know That's, how we've missed. Well, thanks a lot for having me. I appreciate it. That's right. It sounds like I'm really old that I've been around for a while. <laughs> no, and I am old, by the way. You, I like won't put that. it like that. You won't put it like that. Yeah. Them, no, you have traveled uh, a few miles Lots. in your day. Yeah, yes, sir. Legacy <laughs> Builders Fellowship. Right, yeah. Now, tell me about this. This is—is is this new? Has this been around? It is. Okay, it good. is. Um, we have—we got a group of guys together, uh, kind of city guys, mm -hmm. and uh, talked to them about if it was there a need for guys, men, to get together in Christian fellowship, mm -hmm. non-denominational. No strings attached, no hidden agenda, no raffle ticket sold. You know, just <laughs> come together, have a little inspiration, some great discussion, and uh, food, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, see, now he got yeah, your attention. Yeah, and so what we decided, we called it Legacy Builders Fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, Legacy Builders comes from the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. That's right. I was so going to ask that question. I, I, I've been in FCA all my life, and I called them and made sure it was okay for us to use that, and they said, oh, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. And, promote each other. Uh, yeah, it is. You know, legacy is a, a pretty neat word. Uh, I went and spoke at the uh, Bill Nichols Center. Oh, boy. And they were my heroes. Oh, yeah. They, this generation of people that made all these sacrifices mm -hmm. so I could enjoy the blessings of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a great legacy they passed on to my generation. But now the question is, what legacy is my generation going to pass on to the my grandkids, we, we got a country today that's being attacked and, and Christian values that are being questioned and, and uh, all kinds of things going on. And I think it's time for men in this country, people, Christians in this country, to come together, be strong, and, and realize that our, our nation and our values are definitely being attacked. Mm -hmm. So this Legacy Builders Fellowship will meet starting Tuesday at 6.15 in the morning and 12 noon, we let the guys choose their time, what's mm -hmm. convenient for them. And for about 50 minutes, you know, we're going to talk about some of these topics, a big discussion and stuff. Kind of folks just sitting around? I mean, is Yeah, it you originally casual? you'll come in and, and you, you know, you get your food and sit. You and we'll, we'll, have, we'll have some inspirational time, mm -hmm. some... Some, and it's all scripturally based, mm -hmm. I mean, but we'll be talking about some kind of theme and then, you know, kind of discuss it. But to be honest with you, we're trying to be a little open to hear what the guys tell us they would like. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of people say that they're very interested, but once they get there, I could see it becoming a Christian book study or maybe eventually guest speakers and maybe even one day, who knows, have a, fellow, a, a conference. I, 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 I like this whole thing. I think I it's. That. I, I really think it's got. Uh, number one, it's got values, and and we're needing more and more yes, of that. Sir. I was just going. I'm going to go back to you talking about the Bill Nichols, uh, the the folks at the Bill Nichols uh, home. Oh. You know, they 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 paved the way for me and you. Right. You're doing, and and you and these guys will be doing the same thing for those FCA members that will be coming along. So we're we're we're, we're right. all, it's all it's all linked together. Absolutely. And this is a positive thing. Oh, yes. There right. ain't nothing negative about this. Oh, that, this is absolutely positive. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, that's what this is about. And, uh, you know, our forefathers that founded this nation, mm -hmm. when you go back and look, uh, you know, when I was superintendent in Coleman County, there's a group called, I'm sure you've heard of the Freedom From Religion. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're on the news like every other day questioning something. They're out of, uh, Indi of uh, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to, to challenge a prayer event that we had on a Saturday, totally voluntary. 
and just went nuts because I sponsored it. I was superintendent. Was this in Coleman? It was in Coleman, okay. that's right. And uh, so we, we kind of, they tried to scare you to death for lawsuits, you mm -hmm. know. But anyway, we had it, and it mm. was unbelievably supported. But the funny, here, here's what I wanted to say. The first public schools in this nation were set up to teach children how to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, how did we go from that to a time where a bunch of people on a Saturday can't walk up to the school and pray for it. Now, how did, I mean, I'm what's happening here? Yeah. And, and those forefathers uh, founded this constitution that we interpret all the time mm -hmm. under the umbrella of prayer to God, the Christian God, mm -hmm. our, our, our God, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just, uh, it's concerning that it those kind be. of things are being questioned and challenged. And if we don't stand up, and maybe make a stand, then that gets it gets taken away from us. And it'll get worse and worse it has. and worse. And you know, you're you're it, right. Yes, sir. It so has. we might as well make it better, better, better. I mean, you know, and it sounds like that's exactly what y'all do. This is a great mission statement too. In a, I'll go back to that positive word. Yes, it's sir. a mission statement with a very positive uh, uh, background behind it. Yes, sir. It's men committed. It's men committed to building community-wide Christian leadership. Mm -hmm. And that, in, in essence, that's what it is, to make us stronger in, wherever we are, right. you know, and, and stand up and be the leaders that uh, we need to be in a time when so many things are being questioned. Let, let me ask you something. We'll, we'll take a commercial break right yes, now. So when we come back, we, we, we got a lot to talk about. You, you know we always do, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Something that shimmers and soft can do right Everyone calls us the most perfect pair Should I wear a veil or a rose in my hair? The color of roses. Man, speaking of roses, lacays, flowers, and gifts, it has a huge selection of roses, not just during Valentine uh, uh, days, but all year round. Lacay's Flowers and Gifts has fresh flowers. I tell you, if you've never been over there and went in the back when the girls are working, I love to watch them work their magic with just taking a few different flowers and making an arrangement. I'm thinking, golly, how did y'all do that? Well, it's, it's kind of magic. That's what it is at LeCay's Flowers and Gifts. And they will put that number down. You never know when you need something uh, to perk somebody's day up. 256-825-2890. That's LeCay's Flowers and Gifts in Dayville, Alabama. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender acoustics and Fender Expo system for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City has so much to offer, like the brand new spirit jerseys, great assortment of picture frames, Alabama and Auburn items. You can get your game on in a heartbeat there. They also have Candleberry candles like Carolina Sugar Cane Mist, Rock Salt Ice Cream.
Buttermelon Rancher, new pillar candle holders. Then for the bridal registry, they have monogrammed crosses, framing, and trays. We also have new floral items such as stems, bouquets, and topiaries. Be sure to get your lake items and don't forget Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City. Oh, chilly. Boy, I tell you what, it was a cool day. Kind of windy. I uh, felt like I was in Chicago. But, but I wasn't. I was right here in Alexander City. Uh, it's going to be a little windy tonight, but it's going to get cold before the night. So we're 27 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be a, another cool weekend, or another cool day. Friday, uh, high 51. Again, it'll be 27 for a low tomorrow night. But look at the weekend coming up. Uh, let's, let's jump on out to Tuesday. Will it snow? Will it snow? Uh, let's say it will. Let's say it will. That's my prediction. Uh, February the 9th, we go have snow. Maybe it's y'all's meeting up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you go see our good folks at Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road for service. I'm talking about the Yerkes. Uh, the number is real simple, uh, 215-3474. For more information, call them. I'd, I'd like to go see them. Why don't you? Oh, this week's uh, conversation with Lori Morgan. She's got out a new album. Uh, now, the one that I received was one of the first, Lori Morgan, Letting Go Slow. Well, that was a misprint. The first 500 was a misprint. But this girl has got an attitude, a, a good attitude, great singer. In fact, this is the first album she's had out in about five years. She'll be my guest this coming Sunday afternoon on uh, Collider Country 97.5. My interviews are normally around 5 o'clock. The show from 4 to 6 playing classic country and bluegrass. And I try to keep you updated on what's going on in that, uh, uh, that, that music world. Tune in. Uh, Billy Coleman out here with me. Uh, Billy and I are just talking about Legacy Builders Fellowship. Uh, and this is this is new. This is brand new. Brand so, new. so when y'all have y'all's meeting this coming Tuesday at the Lake Martin Area Association of Realtors Building, which is right next to the uh, D. M. Russell Library. Yes, sir. On, um, right. What road is that? I've I've lived here for 63 years. Uh, uh, Marshall. Well, whatever it is, y'all 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 find. I put a big sign up in front of it <laughs> yesterday. My signs. The sign's great, but I'm not the best sign putter upper mm -hmm. you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. But uh, so when people drive by, they say, "Oh yeah, that's it right mm -hmm. there," you know. And this uh, uh, two times, six, fifteen, and twelve. Well, we try to make it convenient Boy, it uh, so that guys can choose. Some can come early, of mm -hmm. course, and some need to wait and come at lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just going to be relaxed and hopefully challenging and enjoyable. Billy, really, I guess I look at it, uh, something like this. We talked about it being positive. But when you, with this being the first uh, uh, meeting, and guys get to coming, mm -hmm. and, and they, you know, they, they get that they'll tell somebody else. I can see this thing growing in a hurry because you know, number one, the <laughs> folks that believe in what you're doing, but number yes. two, you know, it, it gets folks out to, to do something. Uh, again, in a positive way. We hope so, and of course, uh, God can do with it whatever He wants to. Yeah. I, I hope that, you know, we're going into it just letting Him kind of be in control of it. But yeah, I mean, I I think it's I like I, we we really thought the non-denominational part. Yeah. We're, we're not there to talk about the non. We're just there to talk about our common bond, right. and that is positive, and that's Christ. Well, and you don't run anybody off that way. You don't zero in yeah. on anybody particular that way. Right. Uh, there's no reason uh, nobody should come, even if you don't believe. This may be a good uh, time to start believing. Well, I think, you know, regardless of where you fall on, on your Christian beliefs, I think we can all agree that we need leadership mm -hmm. oh. a, in this country mm -hmm. greatly. And we're, we're, the, it seems like the country is looking around for a leader. Right. And nationally speaking, we're a little bit, you know, disillusioned mm -hmm. with our leadership mm -hmm. at times. And uh, so, so even if you're not maybe strong in your faith, you know, just knowing that we're, we're about 
leadership, it, that's something that ought to, ought to spur a little bit of interest, you know. Let me ask you something. You working in the school system as far as being a principal, a superintendent, mm -hmm. a football coach, I mean, you've worked in every way you uh, could with young folks. Mm -hmm. What's something that happened over the years that, that, that you could see that, that took a, a lot of this out, the religious? Mm -hmm. Does anything come to mind in your... Well, first off, uh, I think our young people are fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when people get talking about this generation, you know, I don't know about the kids today. I mean, you know, the kids are kind of uh, going nuts and stuff. I say, well, let me tell you about my generation, the 60s and 70s. <laughs> Rock music, drug abuse, Charles Manson. I start saying, my goodness. The whole country looked at our generation and said, what's this country going to be like when they're the leaders? And now we know, because yeah. we are the leaders. So first off, I think the kids are great. Uh, I think that my generation has made some, some mistakes. And one of the mistakes I think we made is thinking that stuff will take the place of time. You know, okay. the, in 1990s, the fastest growing business in this country were daycare centers. Mm -hmm. We're, we're so busy accumulating wealth and giving our kids stuff, mm -hmm. and what we're sacrificing is precious, and that is time, because yeah. your relationship is built by spending time together. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that, to me, that was somewhat of an error, and our, our young people have been given so much, it's not their fault mm -hmm. that we gave them, we, we, they're kind of spoiled. No doubt. I mean, I, a I, hard I, day's I like work, a hard day's work, you know, as a football coach, you look around and say, well, you know, uh, there's not as many kids wanting to come out and play, for, well, you know why? Because it's hard work, mm -hmm. and we're not used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, the kids today, it's not their fault, it's our fault, yep. you know, and so, I, you know, I think that kind of plays a role in it, and you know, the reason things have been taken from us from a value standpoint is because we've allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. Our generation has. We let it happen. We were too busy, you know, making our fortunes and building our houses. And while we were doing that, Supreme Court rulings were coming down time and again that were taking away some of the values that our country was built on. And we let it happen. We let it happen. We, we let it happen. I mean, it's probably more complicated than I, that. I know. But, I that, know. but that's right there at the top. We, we, we allowed it mm -hmm. to happen. You know, mm -hmm. we, the, the Supreme Court ruling on prayer was, well, that was in the 60s, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, sure. It was. It was in the 60s. Well, that means for 180 years prior to that, the courts didn't rule against prayer. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, a Supreme Court judge... Say it's wrong. Yeah, I mean, a, a, ju a federal judge rules about prayer in schools, and we just kind of, uh, well, hmm. So, so <laughs> now, it, it, I guess we can also look at this as uh, trying to make up for what, what happened way back when. It's never too late. Oh, no, no. It, abs it, it absolutely is not too late. It's, it's not at all, and that's... That's sort of what, I mean, it's interesting, that's kind of what we're doing here. Is mm -hmm. we're, we're, what can we do? And the first thing we can do, I think, in our lives is live our own lives out in such a way that the, the world can see what we believe in right. and what, what are our values and not, and not compromise our values. Compromise is a kind of, can kind of be a good word, yeah. but it can be a really bad word, yeah. you know. I'm with, no, I, uh, I agree. And, you know, you look in our movies, you know, I remember the first PG movie I ever went to had the D word in it, and when I heard it, I said, oh my goodness, I almost what? ran out of the theater. What was the you know, what's that going to be? And, you know, well, we've gone for, that's on every show on TV. That, that, that word is on every show now, isn't what movie, it? What, you remember what movie it was? It was called Conquer Worm. <laughs> <laughs> and it starred Vincent. It starred, it starred Vincent, Price. Vincent Price. You remember him? Yeah, all yeah, those yeah. horror movies oh, and yeah. stuff. But uh, and now uh, today, the 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 D word. I mean, it's just uh, well, you know, we we compromised it, mm -hmm. and now it just well, you, you you better watch what you turn on on your television set. Yeah, you're, you're you're exactly, and that's changed in the last several years. Here again, it's it's our fault. It's our fault that we don't do something. So so now you can do something. We can start by going to this meeting, 6.15 and noon on February the 9th. At the, i got to look because that's a long word up there. 
uh, at the Lake Martin Area it Association is. of Realtors building. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and it's right out of uh, downtown Alexander Between City. the Baptist Church and the library. Exactly. Okay. That's, yeah, right. that's, that's a good that's way it, to, right that's a good way to uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, put it. It's for, uh, it's for all, all religions. I mean, that, that, that's one thing. Yes, sir. Um, would there be like a keynote speaker or would it be? At first, who gets it started? At, at you, first it'll be me. Uh, we might not should say he, that. He, hey. he can get it starting. We, we just you. killed it right there. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think we need to explain this mm -hmm. and, and kind of get all on the same page about what we're Come trying on. to do and listen. I think it, as, as time goes on, it will emerge into some, some different things. Mm -hmm. But at first, it'll be, you know, throwing out some stuff and then let's discuss it. There's gonna be, I you know, love it. Guys sitting around the tables discussing it in small mm -hmm. groups, what they think, give their thoughts on it. And it's going to be a lot of that, too. This is not politics. Oh. Uh, so th this is religion. Big difference. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. No, I, I mean, I... Elijah Idol returns to the Lake Martin Event Center at the world-famous Rodeo Club beginning Friday, February 26th. This year's Idol contestants will compete for over $5,000 in cash and prizes, but you must have a golden ticket to perform. Log on to WKGA975.com for a list of golden ticket locations presented by Pepsi, Budweiser, Verizon, the world-famous Rodeo Club, and Kalijah Country 97.5. At Camnus Direct, we strive to provide top quality products along with professional and courteous service. As a family owned and operated company, we have over 40 years of combined experience in cabinetry sales and installation. We offer a wide range of cabinetry with fully customizable options. We also use only locally made products, keeping our money in our community. For more information, give us a call or visit our showroom, Cabinets Direct. Okay, so the government crash tested the F-150, the one with the high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body, bolted to a high-strength steel frame, and guess what? It made the strongest statement any truck can make. It pulled a five-star safety rating on all sides for every cab configuration. Because when they say military-grade, they mean battle-tested. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. We are steel, German-engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Find your steel outdoor products and more at the new Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Hey, let me tell you something about this Valentine's giveaway uh, at Carlisle's in downtown Alexander City. It'll be uh, Saturday the 13th, the day before Valentine's. For every $25 you spend uh, there, you'll have a chance to win. Uh, the more, you know, you spend $100, you get four chances to win the big old teddy bear, uh, some candy, and what a way to, to start a real nice weekend, a Valentine weekend, is by winning something from Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Make sure you go by and visit them tomorrow. part of no don't you understand? Well, what part of yes do you understand? Uh, yes being a good deal at retail, the retail store here in Alexander City, Russell Retail Store, from uh, 
3 to 5 tomorrow, Jonathan Bloom will be playing there, but also from 3 to 5, General Publix, uh, you get 30% uh, discount on full price merchandise. Now, not included are the Brooks uh, shoes. So you've got a store full of merchandise uh, to take advantage of. Also, take advantage of the Kiwanis Pancake uh, Saturday. That's a Dave would be at the Dave Elementary Lunchroom, 7 to 11. Tickets are $6, and all proceeds go to local uh, school. So that's a good thing. That's just another good thing happening uh, in our community. Uh, so please let us know if we can help you with anything by emailing me at that's Kenny Dean at charter.net. Kenny Dean at charter.net. Hey, thanks for being with us. I want to tell you, um, I don't know if you can see the jackalope right behind me. Uh, you thought it was just something I've been joking about. Well, let me just tell you something. Bozeman, Montana. The federal wildlife managers say they are in the early phases of reviewing a petition that seeks to reintroduce the gray prairie jackalope to the greater Yellowstone area, but they have not set a deadline uh, for acting on the filing. Now, this right here is the gray prairie jackalope. Now, the one that's on the set with me uh, was from it's a, it's a New Mexico. Uh, jackalope. It was from Las, Cru Las Cruces, New Mexico. They're a different breed. Uh, they, uh, uh, you kill them in a different way. They, uh, the only way you can lure, lure them up in the, uh, uh, the trees, um, the, uh, the, the oak trees, and I forget the name of the oak tree in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, is with mustard sardines, and then it's a particular type stick with a nail right in the middle of it that you take them out uh, after they climb the tree. But anyhow, it's, it's a different type. Uh, you got the Las Cruces, New Mexico versus the, the uh, greater Yellowstone or the gray prairie jackalope. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you. That's really all I want to say about that. <laughs> Believe it or not. All right, let's get back. Let's get back to what we're talking about. How can we do that? I mean, how can we go back after that? I mean, I'm just... <laughs> I was sitting over here saying, is it okay to laugh while he's doing that? <laughs> yeah, it's okay to laugh. It'd be okay. If you didn't laugh, you'd be in trouble on this show right uh, here. Yeah, that climbing the tree stuff. This is, this, is not, th th this is not funny, though. But it, it, it's, a, it's a serious thing, but we want you to have fun with this. Legacy Builders Fellowship. Let me just uh, read. This is from Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one man's sharpens another. That's our verse. Wow. Wow. That's a good one. This is, this is just one of those things like you and I uh, continue to talk about, and I hope Billy Coleman will continue to come back on here. This is going to be a, uh, to, to promote, this is going to be a weekly event. This weekly. is not just a one-time thing. This is, no. y'all just starting. We're just starting, and it's every, every Tuesday. And uh, we, we talked about that. We said, well, do, uh, do we go once a month? And, well, how can you really get into a routine? Mm -hmm. We want this to to be available, and we said, let's just go for it. Let's yep. just do weekly, and the crowd, I mean, it'll, it'll just be what it is, you know. You'll find out. You will find out a lot of things. Of course, uh, uh, February the 9th, we'll kick it off, 6.15 a.m. and 12 noon. I, have, I still have to look. I know where this is. Uh, at the Lake Martin Area Association of Realtors Building, which is right between the uh, DM Russell right. Library and the First Baptist Church, downtown mm -hmm. Alexander City. Open to everybody. Yes, sir. That's a great scripture. I, I've, I've, and through my life, I've talked to football teams mm -hmm. right before they go out to play. Mm -hmm. Man, that's, that's, that's good. I really love that. And one man sharpens another. Mm -hmm. That goes back to, if you're trying to sharp back in those days, you know, you couldn't sharpen one piece of iron unless you had another one. Mm -hmm. That piece of iron would dull. Mm -hmm. You had to have two pieces of iron to sharpen both of them. And uh, Christian men come together, it strengthens each other. It helps, you know. And this right here is going to be just nothing one, but one big help word. And that's, Hopefully. you know. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, I, that's our goal. Yeah. Yes, sir. It sure is. And, and, and what we do uh, with this is going to help our children, our grandchildren, like you said. And I'll go back to Bill Nichols' uh, veterans home. You know, they, they paved the road. They sharpened that old too for a boat, uh, a lot of us. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, and... and and they, you know, they're, they're still, we still have folks out there protecting our freedom. Yes, do. And, yes and, sir. You know, th this religion, we got to protect it too. Yes, sir. I, you know, every, the, the past three generations have, we've inherited all their wealth. 
the next three generations are going to have to pay off our debt. Yeah. It's time for it's time for my generation. It's time for me. I'm not me mm -hmm. to make sure that I'm doing the things in my life that help my grand my children and grandchildren have the same opportunities that I have because there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. You're right. That's what I need to be doing in my life. It's not about me. You know, first off, it's about Christ, mm -hmm. but it's also about others and providing that for the next generations. I was talking about uh, the generation that you and I grew up in, the, oh, the yes, 60s, sir. the 70s. And, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think about, you know, and my, my parents weren't uh, bad about the music because I was a big Elvis fan. I was a big Beatle fan, still, still am. But so many thought that was trash music like so many folks in the, the 70s or 80s or even the 90s or getting into mm -hmm. the, the, the new century. It's just, you know, I think it's what you get used to loving. I love classic country music. Right. A lot of folks yeah. don't. Right. Uh, so I think it's whatever, you know, I, I really hate to bash any kind of music, uh, even though sometimes I do. I think music is just a reflection of the culture. Yeah, yeah, and you're right. What is music? It's something that people produce. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'm I'm with you on that. I, you know, we like to blame uh, all kinds of other things, but if we don't watch it, it's mm -hmm. not on there, mm -hmm. is it? You're right. All, all the junk that's out there. If, if we don't if we don't participate mm -hmm. or buy or or engage in, in that, then then it goes away. Mm -hmm. So really, it's just. Uh, our schools today, we've talked a lot about that. Our schools are just a small microcosm of society. Mm -hmm. And the same things that are going on out in the world in society are the same things that you're going to deal with in, in your, with your kids in the school. So it's people. It's and, always people. And it's time to step up. And that's exactly what we're going to do starting uh, February the 9th, every Tuesday, 6.15 and 12 noon. At, I, I'm, I'm, I'll probably always have to look at this right here. <laughs> Lake Martin Area Association of Realtors Building. Uh, good park in there between oh, the good park, First yes, Baptist sir. Church and uh, D.M. Russell Library. I hope you all start off with a bang. Thank you. Keep me in Thank mind. You. Anything, that if I can help you uh, promote it, I'm well, in. we appreciate everyone's prayers. Yeah. I mean, that, it, that it, makes a difference yeah. for sure. You, you and mine. Kenny, it's been it. a pleasure. Come out sir. here and sit with me. I, I, I love to do it. I, I love, <laughs> hey, this chair. You like I, it? I get, when I come back second time, do I can't sit in the chair? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be here. Make you comfortable. <laughs> Hope you all are comfortable tonight. Rob Gabby Witherington from Stillwater is up next. Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama is adding tailgate specials just for you. Hot wings, mild wings, you can buy one or 200. Get with Larry and the crew at 256-354-7705. Now they're still going to have that delicious uh, catfish that they're known for, sweet tea, which they're known for, and everything else. If you've never eaten at Red's Catfish Cabin, I want you to go today. That's in Crackford, Alabama. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Just Sarah Drive. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga. Looking for the area's best one-stop shop? Foshi's Watts is where to go. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas for you boaters and you lawn care guys. Although cutting the grass is less fun than going to the lake, you can also get live bait and tackle, cold beverages, and they have fresh biscuits starting at 5 a.m. and the best candy prices in town. You can even fill your propane tank and get a bag of everybody's favorite pellet ice for only $1.50. Get it all at Foshi's Watts on Daveville Road in Alex City, the area's best one-stop shop. 
Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 256-396-2104. Hey, Dad, let's go to the Sportsman Outpost. Sportsman's Outpost, your one-stop destination for everything outdoors. Guns, archery range, ammo, processor, and taxidermist. Archery manager Randy Winslet, five-time Alabama state champion, says it's attention to detail that sets us apart from our competition. We believe in coming in early and staying late. At Sportsman's Outpost, we think everyone should be able to live their dream. Sportsman's Outpost, your leader in everything outdoors. The Meadows Assisted Living of Alexander City is a 16-bed facility that offers three home-cooked meals daily, including snacks. Other services include local transportation to appointments and outings, assistance with personal care, and 24-hour staff availability. Rates are much lower than traditional long-term care, and rent is month-to-month. The Meadows Assisted Living offers something, too, that you just can't put a price on. Peace of mind. Call today, 256-234-0800. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City has gifts for every occasion you may have coming up. Like ladies' clothes, pajamas, swimsuit bags, towels, sunglasses, koozies for monogramming, monogrammed slippers and wallets, and jewelry for every outing, swimsuit covers, and tanks by Blackbeard. When it's time to go gift shopping, think of Jackson's Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Oh, let me do it. Lake Martin Event Center at the Rodeo Club are coming up February the 13th, uh, 2016. Uh, which is right around the corner. There, let me let you know that this is a benefit, uh, benefit rescuing, uh, re- for re- benefiting rescue K911. You try to say that a few times. Uh, an evening of dance and romance featuring the heartthrobs live on the big stage uh, Saturday, February 13th at the Lake Martin Event Center at the Rodeo Club. Uh, call 256-825-7503 for more information. And a whisper by the fire A negligee A long white train Somebody's everything And the one that got away That little black dress And the song you can't forget well, y'all come on back in here. Pam, uh, not Pam, that was Pam <laughs> Tillis and Lori Morgan doing that album. This is Lori Morgan, Letting Go Slow. That's not the name of it. This right here is a misprint. She'll be my featured artist on uh, College Country 97.5 this coming Sunday afternoon. I love, because one of the first songs I, uh, that I heard that really got my attention was Lay, Lady, Lay that she sings. And boy, did she do <clears throat> it justice. Oh, Bob Dylan tune. My buddy, not Bob, but Rob, Gabby <laughs> Witherington, we are in our orange. Oh, baby. We are ready for this coming Sunday. I'm telling you. It's Go going, Broncos. It's nothing but fun, baby. Don't do that now. You get me all stirred up. I won't be able to talk. <laughs> no, I mean, everybody, everybody knows your show now. And, uh, but when I walked in and saw you dressed up so good looking, I thought you might be going to church. I didn't know. <laughs> but with that, with that backdrop and this bookend thing going, mm-hmm. I mean, I've never felt more at home with Kenny Dean. I'm just telling you right now. Well, you were kind to bring me, <laughs> bring me this shirt a while yeah, back. And, that's and, right. And I, I said, well, we got the game this weekend. I said, I'm going to make sure because I like to match. So I got my wife to order <laughs> me a Broncos cap. Uh, so I am uh, Will Dean, my son, and I, we're all uh, geared up and ready, ready for it. Not as much as me. Have you ever been to a, uh, uh, not a World Series, a uh, championship game like this? No, I haven't had okay. a Super Bowl. And I had uh, Super Bowl, yeah. Yeah, when I, uh, when I was in Birmingham at, uh, 
at uh, Green Valley Country Club, I had a member who was a promoter at Oak Mountain Amphitheater. Mm -hmm. And uh, I called him when we went Super Bowl 32 when Elway was going to get his first shot at the Packers mm -hmm. and going to win one. Now, that was, we were actually the greatest underdog in the history of the Super Bowl, 13 half point underdogs. This one, we're only six and a half. They, oh, it's they, already going up. A, oh, yeah. A they just, okay. They, okay. They, I knew it. Five everybody's eight. believing in that cam, you know, which is fine. Well, yeah. yeah. He's good. Yeah. But uh, I called that member of mine and I said, um, you know, hey, I want to be in the house when Elway wins. That was in San Diego. And uh, I said, you know, I've saved up some money and uh, I want to go. And I know you can get me a ticket. And he mm -hmm. said, I can, I've got two tickets. And I, but he says, you'll have more fun if you stay home. And he, and, and I said, no, come on, let me buy the ticket, let me get out there. I had another member that was going to give me a, he's a Delta pilot, he was mm -hmm. going to give me a jump seat or something, 75 mm -hmm. bucks one way, I mean, mm -hmm. both ways. I mean, it's like I had everybody working towards making this happen. And um, he kept telling me, no, I'm just, I'm just not going to do it, buddy. I, I, know. I, I said, you got to. And then finally he goes, listen, they're going to lose. I mean, he was trying to protect me. And I said, they're not going to lose. And I said, if, he says, and they're not even good seats. They're like, uh, they're in the end zone, three three rows from the top of the deck. And I said, well, then if things don't work, I can just take three steps and jump and be done with all this. <laughs> but uh, I just, I just that, was, uh, that was incredible. So I ended up doing a huge Super Bowl party in my Bronco room mm -hmm. uh, that I had in my house here at uh, Jackson's Gap. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great night. I mean, that was, we finally won one. And I um, mean, I cried and cried and cried. It was beautiful. But uh, that was um, back when I had hair. I mean, it's been 17 <laughs> years since my Broncos have made it to the top again. And it's showtime. And I just, uh, I can't wait. It's it ought to be, be fun. Oh, it'll it's going to be a great game. It'll I, be a, a fun game. Yeah, and, and you're such a good friend that I'm going to allow you to take some of your church money and, and, uh, and do a little gambling, and I'm going <laughs> to tell you how it's going to go. So, um, it, you know, the, the, the Panthers are definitely the best all-around team this year. I've mm -hmm. said that all, all along. Mm -hmm. um, but this defense is, uh, is wickedly good. Yep. I mean, they are fast and furious, and no one's giving them any respect, and that's how they play hard. So um, I'm expecting a shutdown like we did with Brady. And Cam, uh, he might get to do a little dabbing, but uh, he, very little. Uh, well, so. let me tell you something. Uh, I watched the game with, uh, with the, the, the Patriots game, Ooh. and it wasn't over until it was over. Well, I mean, all, most of the Broncos games have been close. It's yeah. been a very exhilarating season for me uh, because most of them have gone to the fourth quarter mm -hmm. right at the end. And they haven't all gone away, but enough of them did, and the right ones did. Uh, team is totally healthy. Um, it's, it's been a beautiful season, and it's going to finish great. And I got Whiskey River going off over here. So I tell you what we, we, we do. Me and my Bronco buddy right the here. Bookends, man. <laughs> the bookends, man. The bookends. Gabby uh, uh, Witherington. We'll be right back. <laughs> becomes a rose And deep as night When memories stand together Lay with me Pearson's uh, flowers, gifts, I mean, just a little bit of everything. Pearson's is located in downtown Davidville, Alabama. Pearson's has been around for a while. Now, Donna McCain's been in the business for 30 plus years. Donna McCain loves what she does, and you go love. The, the, the person that you're in love with right now, you're going to love them a whole lot better when she, uh, when she really fixes up that Valentine package uh, for them. I, did you hear that? That was love. That was the love uh, <laughs> message being sent to, to your lover, your love from Pearson's Flowers, downtown Davidville, Alabama. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana splits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North and just off the square in downtown Ashland to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. Southern Pipe and Supplies, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with your decisions on brand names like Delta Faucets and customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. For the best in repair and service, see the Depot Computer in Alexander City. Next door to Depot Gun and Pawn and the Music Depot. They sell service and repair desktops, laptops, tablets, and cell phones. 
Maybe you need parts like chargers, batteries, hard drives. They even offer data retrieval for disc failures and hard crashes. Great prices and great customer service. 60 day layaway, same as cash. Depot Computer, 3968 Highway 280, Alexander City. Sales, service, and repair. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. If your New Year's resolution is to stop walking and start riding, then resolve yourself to run to Lake Martin Truck and Auto on Old Dateville Road. Lake Martin Truck and Auto is the bank, and you don't need to worry about past credit, getting your tax money, or finding the ride that suits you. Because Lake Martin Truck and Auto has the lowest down payments and monthly payments in the area with the best selection. Don't let the Slick City dealer take all that tax money or hassle you with credit. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Old Dateville Road in Alex City. Antique Mall of Memories located on Highway 280 here in Alexander City uh, between Satterfield and Home Depot. Now, I mentioned the word antique. Let, let's, let's, let's take that out right now. Let's just talk about unique items, and they're really neat items. Diane Forbes says, just come by and see us, and I'll let you look around, and you can see the change for yourself. And then right next door, how sweet is this? Her daughter, Jamie, is right next door. So if you have a, a dog that needs to be groomed, uh, that needs to be boarded, well, she can do that. Bed, baths, and bark on, baby. Barking also, not, not, not barking also available, boarding also available. 256-786-1374. <laughs> Lori Morgan is our featured artist tonight, who will be uh, our special guest on Clyde's Country 97.5 Sunday afternoon, uh, right before the, the, the y'all tune in and <laughs> listen to a little bit of the show before the, uh, the Super Bowl starts. My buddy Gabby Withers is out here uh, with us. Before we, want to talk, before we talk golf, I want to talk about uh, your new love, and I'm really, really glad for you, but you also, it's kind of a, a bittersweet thing. Today is national cancer aware or cancer awareness i want to say uh, we put that in the world yeah cancer awareness <clears throat> tell, tell me what's going on buddy well i'm i um like i've been telling everybody around the club and family and friends and facebook that uh um, i've just the lord has blessed me with an angel in my mm -hmm. life and she is just uh, absolutely wonderful she's up in chattanooga tennessee mm -hmm. and got a chance to see her this last weekend and just had the most incredible connection and uh, it's a, it's just a beautiful time in my life. It seems like the Lord has just blessed me in every aspect, but this was unexpected, but beautiful. And, Good. um, I just thank the world of Sandra and, uh, came, came home back to Stillwaters on Monday, uh, driving back and just, uh, singing and praising him and just, yeah. And that, and, uh, come home to, um, a Facebook post from her that, um, announced to everyone that, uh, there's a pre-diagnosis of cancer. Mm -hmm. And so and you're she talking, works in that. Well, she's a, she's a nurse, an RN, and she assists in uh, surgeries for biopsy, biopsy. And mm -hmm. for lab results and all that. And uh, so it's just kind of an ironic thing that it's the same thing in reverse. And uh, so you go from just being on top of the world to just uh, immediate devastation. I mean, it was a very difficult night. Um, but uh, we, we got on the phone, we did our talking, uh, we we cried through our tears, through our fears, mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of the night, um, I said, you know, sweetheart, you know the way I am, and uh, you know my faith, and you know my positivity, and um, so this is the uh, this is the only night we're gonna we're gonna cry oh, out man. all our fear, yeah. and we were putting the and fear away, and we're that. starting the prayers, yeah. and uh, so here we go today. Before I came, left the golf shop, she sends me a text and says, um, first results in negative. So um, she's got two more labs results we're waiting on, but um, we've been praying nonstop. All my friends, all my family, everybody I've reached out to, the people around the club, everybody's just been so loving, and they just know how I feel about her. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
they were so excited for me, and then all of a sudden you have this jolt. But I just believe, uh, I believe that we'll work our way through it. And, uh, and so we got great results today, which just made my day. And, you know, the other thing I'm thinking about right now as you, you tell this, number one, I say I'm, I'm really glad for you. <laughs> but the, the thing that I'm thinking about, I use this word a lot, timing. Mm -hmm. Timing, the man above has put her in your life or you in her life. Then this comes up. Then y'all have each other. To, to work it out along with, with him. Correct. So, so I mean, you know, I, I, I would still look at, I'm like you, let's look at this as a positive thing. So I look forward to seeing other posts. And, and yeah. I don't ever call you because, <laughs> but because I know you. And, and, and you know, I'll talk a year off. <laughs> no, 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 no it's, it's not that because I, uh, being a Facebook friend, right. when you post things like this, you don't, you don't have to call mm -hmm. me. If, if you want to talk to me, fine. But, you know, I, I know, I know, I'll add her to my prayer. There you go. I mean, you I mean know, that's so. the members have been doing that. They yeah. Add them to their church prayer lists. And, and, uh, but we're going to make it. We're going to make it. She's so worthy. And, of, uh, and she's, she's just a very special lady. And I'm just, uh, I'm just so tickled to have her in my life. It's, uh, it's just a great time. Well, I mean, this is, you deserve it. Well, you, you, we you all deserve, deserve good love. We all deserve well, good and, love. And then so. I, I know, especially with your other family, your uh, your, your family at the golf course, sure. The, the you know the whole bunch there. Uh, now they're happy for you. Oh yeah. And, and, but that that's a good thing about what you do <laughs> at Stillwaters. You're you're the golf pro there. But that's just you know that's just your title. Yeah. A, a part of it. You, you, your your relationships oh. you build. That's everything. Well, man. it is. It has been like I told you when you first come here, and and uh, when I first came back, and we'd done the, these shows. You'd invited me on before oh, yeah. in the past mm -hmm. several times, and. Uh, and uh, all of that's been a, a blessing. And, you know, you, you invite me in before Thanksgiving, so I get a chance mm -hmm. to talk about all the things that you should be thankful for mm -hmm. and express that. My thanks for being back at Stillwaters and all the positivity going on there. Then you invite me right before Christmas, so we get to tell some Christmas stories. And, not, you know, it, that was a blast and send that love and, mm -hmm. and the spirit of the season. And, and now we get this... Uh, Super Bowl slash Valentine edition. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is uh, this and is fun. And kind of Thanksgiving, <laughs> kind of Thanksgiving too. Oh yeah, you know, oh yeah. With everything, but yeah, everything's um, everything's going great. Um, we've got um, Don with the Copper's Grill. The restaurant mm -hmm. has just been a huge success. I'm not we appreciate there yet. I'm, I'm going oh, to. Oh, you boy, you'll, you'll be back when you yeah. come. It mm -hmm. is wonderful. He's he and his team have just done a tremendous job with that, and um, so that's been a great addition to the place. He's done some changes on the menu, so he's added a few things. So if you, if you haven't been by recently, you need to come on and enjoy it. And um, so that's been great. Uh, the membership continues to grow by the week. Mm -hmm. And that's fun because I'm getting to meet new people. I've got my great group from the past that re remember me and the connection we had then. But now we're getting to meet all kinds of new folks. That's just growing by the week. That calendar on the wall in my office is starting to fill up. I got mm -hmm. some ladies clinics I'm going to do and some junior clinics. I'm mapping that all out. Uh, just a whole lot of activity. And we just, we just want to invite the your viewing area to come and enjoy it with us because I think you will be so impressed if you haven't been there in the last year you will be so impressed with what Stillwaters has become and where we're going so speaking of where you're going this month what what do you have going on this month we need to let folks the month of February um it's cold okay yeah, there's yeah. not a whole lot people don't do yeah, a lot of outings yeah, and yeah. and book things like mm -hmm. that um I just didn't know if you had so, something specific well he's got a uh, Don's got a big Valentine's offering okay, Valentine's okay. Day it's uh, gonna be on the 13th okay, on Saturday, Saturday before mm -hmm. Um, it's an $80 a couple event, mm -hmm. four course meal, mm -hmm. and just, just going to be nothing but love and great food. Um, well, it's, it's, they're going to do a Super Bowl party too. Okay. I, I got a package in the golf shop today, mm -hmm. and uh, usually everything just gets shipped to the golf shop to the dress. So we look at it and see who it's for because I don't want to bust something open that's for the restaurant. It's right. not my business or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. we keep it, you know, we keep it clean. But um, we couldn't figure out who it was, so vroom, 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 I opened the box, take out the wrapping, and there was a stack of T-shirts in there, navy blue. With the word in orange, Omaha, and number 18. Oh, Manny. No. Yeah, yeah, baby. And I went, oh my goodness, what is this? And I'm flipping through, there are six of them, and I look at the sizes, I like, this has got to be staff, staff uniform. Sure enough, mm -hmm. Keith, our owner, he's got, wow. he's got, he ordered some Bronco ones. I run right into the grill, I'm like, look at this, I'm showing all the members, I'm showing the staff, and I'm like, you got to pick one of these, you got to pick one. This is the team, baby, mm -hmm. this is the one you got to wear. Mm -hmm. So Don is like, you know, oh, I came in, and he's like, um, where are the Panther ones? And I said, oh, they're probably not coming. I, you know, they're probably late. I, you know. <laughs> so about 10 minutes later, they came in. Oh, so, so, I, so you get both. And they're, and they're, and oh, they're, no. they're, they're Cam dabbing, mm -hmm. and it's some kind of dabbing comment. I didn't read it. I ain't going to mm -hmm. waste my energy on that. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, that, I went and passed those out, too, gave those to them. And so they're going to be dolled up for the Super Bowl party. Mm -hmm. um, 
they're going to do a, a square board where you, you come and you put your name on a square, and then each quarter they're going to give out, you know, golf attire with Stillwater's logo, and, and then they're going to have a big, um, I think, gift certificates for food. I mean, he's got all kinds of fun stuff going Another on. Another win-win situation. Exactly. Don't exactly. go anywhere. We'll come back. And believe it or not, we've got to wrap it up. Sorry. <laughs> Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new open fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. Lake Martin Garage Towing, Tires, and Muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24-hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down. 256-825-6139. 256-825-6139. Also, they will beat competitor's price guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage, 256-825-6139. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. -y. That's Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama. Oh, Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. Oh, my goodness alive. Uh, you just finished with a, um, a, a hot dog with the chili and everything on it. And then you say, boy, I sure would like something sweet right now. How about a chocolate sundae? How about a banana split? How about a chocolate milkshake with a cherry on top? Okay, so it's not a diet on the diet menu, but who cares? Go to Carlisle tomorrow and see what I'm talking about. Carlisle is located in downtown Alexander City. Carlisle is the only uh, so has the only uh, soda fountain anywhere around. Well, me and old Gabby just sitting out here. We've, talked, <laughs> we've kind of covered the Super Bowl. Uh, Not things, yet. That ain't enough. That no, ain't no. enough. <laughs> things, uh, great things going on down at Stillwaters. Oh, yeah. Uh, it has a, a, a brand new love of his, of his uh, life that we want you to put Sandra. Sandra. Sandra yeah. in your uh, uh, prayer list because she's just uh, going through some, maybe some pr uh, procedures uh, with cancer. Yeah, we just, this is Cancer Awareness it's Day of All Time. Yeah, the timing. Yeah, uh, amazing. So, so yeah. And, and I'm going to be having some folks. I've already talked to a girl. Um, I hope she comes on next week. If, she, if, if she's feeling like it, fine. She's fighting cancer. Mm. Uh, she's going through some treatments right now. And I just, she's got a great story, even though it's a, bad, sad story. It's still one that she's, you know, she's dealing with it. She, she's fighting, so I'm hoping she'll come on. She wants to share it. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of things have <clears throat> happened in her life. Well, the Lord uh, works through people in a lot of different ways. And, you're uh, right. You're you know, right. I have, I have one of my members that's just a great guy, and uh, Joel's uh, fighting it himself right mm -hmm. now, and I actually told his story to Sandy as an inspirational thing, and I let him know, you know, that's the way it all works. We're all in this together, and it should be that mm -hmm. way. 
Well, folks, we uh, hope you have a great night. Tomorrow we'll be doing a little picking and grinning. My old buddy from Opelika will be out here, Dallas Dorsey. Uh, so make sure you tune in tomorrow night. Gabby, thank you so much for playing. Denver 27, Panthers 24. You heard it right Super here. Bowl 50 is coming Omaha! to Denver. Super Omaha! Bowl 50 is coming to Denver, baby. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. <laughs>